Child abuse, an unexpected form of mistreatment of a child whereby the survival, safety, self-esteem, growth, and development of a child is endangered. 80% of children that die from abuse are under the age of four. More than 70% of child sex abuse cases involve a relative, friend, or someone else close to the child. Christina and I am a small business owner. So what is like your connection to child abuse? Um, I experienced um, physical, sexual, and mental abuse as a child. Um, what is your view on like physical abuse, emotional abuse, sexual abuse? Like how do you how do you like feel about that? It's awful and nobody should have to experience it. Yeah. Um, how do you think it affects like you as a person? Um, my personal experiences, um, it, it in one aspect um, made me a stronger person. Um, but at the same time, I still struggle um, with lots of things. Um, it's a lot of times hard for me to build trusting relationships. Um, I get um, sometimes odd vibes from men. Um, I struggle with connecting with my um, husband on a... Um, physical level, um, sometimes an emotional level, mm -hmm. um, but he's very understanding with my past and mm -hmm. um, is helpful with that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I still I, I still struggle with um, with the mental portion of it. Um, I just can't seem to fix those things for some reason. Um, but I think I'm, I'm, I'm also a stronger person because of it. Um, my dad passed away when I was three, um, and shortly after, my mom met another man, um, and he abused me and my siblings and my mother for probably about three years. I was in kindergarten um, and one day I had just gone to school with one too many bruises. Um, my teacher finally pulled me aside. Um, next thing I knew I was sitting at a round table um, with a bunch of police officers, counselors, um, and they had placed a bunch of dolls on the table um, and asked me to show them what was happening at home. Months before this had happened, um, I went to my mother mm -hmm. um, and I told her that he was hurting me um, and she slapped me across the face and told me if I ever lied like that again, she would beat me with a belt. Mm -hmm. I guess it, it all started with the neglect from my mother. Mm -hmm. um, had my mother paid more attention and had she not been in denial? Um, I think it it could have helped the situation a lot sooner. Um, so what would your call to action be? Um, I, I would just say it's important for, for staff, educators, counselors, um, anybody in those types of positions to, um, to make even small conversations about um, a bruise or just something small um, if there's a sense that something's going on at home. 
Um, and that also goes for um, relatives and friends. If I um, suspected something like that was going on, um, I would rather be wrong than not save a child or not help a child. Do you have anything else to add or that you would want to speak about? I don't think so. Thank okay. you. My name is Sue Gillum and I work with Hennepin County Child Protection Investigations. This is the area of child protection that completes assessments on child abuse reports and get that get called into Hennepin County. We are responsible for interviewing family members and deciding if there is an issue of child abuse or neglect and whether the family should have a child protection case open. I chose this profession after completing my master's at the U of M. I had worked in different settings prior to, prior to this, developmentally disabled adults, homeless youth, youth in foster care. After studying more about child welfare, I wanted to see what child protection was all about. In my opinion, the worst kind of abuse is chronic neglect and emotional abuse. Physical abuse and sexual abuse are very bad, of course, depending upon the, the severity. These cases, when reported, result in swifter action and the children can get help. Chronic neglect and emotional abuse is harder to prove and can go on for years, causing mental damage that lasts a lifetime. This is not to say that egregious harm case of physical abuse and sexual abuse aren't horrible, but they are rare compared to the chronic neglect cases we get, which affect the self-esteem, behavior, and mental health of children long-term. I don't think any parent gets up in the morning and thinks they are going to abuse their child. There are so many factors that contribute to child abuse. To name a few, how a parent was raised, stress about money and resources, mental health of the parents, sheer frustration about knowing how to parent, chemical dependency issues, anger issues. You would be surprised how many adults do not know how to control their anger impulses. The self-esteem of the parent and control issues. There are issues in the system, like everywhere else, where individual workers or the courts have personal bias, but the hope is that there is a check and balance system to sort that out. What is my call to action? That is a loaded question. Myself and many of my colleagues voice our opinions when we see things that happen that does not reflect the good social work practice. These are the first girls that I informed and I plan to inform many more.